Welcome to Celtics Post Game Live, presented by New England Ford Dealers and Ford Trucks. Scale, Eddie House, Amina Smith here with you. The Celtics win Game 1 of the NBA Finals, 120-108 to 108 against the Warriors. And it started out shaky. The Celtics coming out with a little bit of nerves in Game 1. But, you know, Scale, when you take a look at this game as a whole, how did it turn out for the Celtics? I think, so the Warriors, they had an opportunity in the third quarter. Mm -hmm. They did not deliver the knockout punch. And you give this team any light, the Celtics, and they start coming after you and they start moving in, they start making shots. Any team in the NBA, curtains. So that's what happened tonight in that fourth quarter. In that fourth quarter, the Celtics was like how we feeling right now, coated in the polar bear's toenails. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> they was out, cold out there defensively. Yeah, they were crazy. out there locked up. They were scoring the basketball. They were doing what they wanted to. They were get, Even without their superstar, Jason Tatum, For being sure. an effective player out there, everybody else stepped up. And we always talk about the others, you know, and it's always the others that's going to uplift you sometimes because the superstars do what they do. And that's what happened tonight. You know, in the fourth quarter, the quarter that mattered the most, you mm -hmm. know, the Celtics stepped up. And you talked about the others. I can't help but to think about Derek White coming off the bench with 21 points in this game. He provided the spark offensively that the Celtics needed in that last series. Also doing it in game one of this series. Gal, what can you say about Derek White in this game? I love the way he attacked off the catch or he let that ball fly. He was a quick decision maker out there. And sometimes when you were playing against these teams, who I talked about earlier as a great defensive team who rotate, those guys, you got to attack them right away and then move the ball. So I like the way that he gets off the ball quickly or he just catches and shoots. And he made big plays. When they were focused on Jason Tatum, guys like Derek White took over. When they were focused on Jalen Brown, Derek White took over. And, and you, you have to have that. And that's how you have that, that fourth quarter explosion when you have everybody chiming in. The ball was moving. Tells us are really good. Well, he didn't want to be alone. You know, he mm. was like, you know what? I ain't going to be the only cold one out here. We all cold out here, so he was uh -huh. cold out there in the fourth quarter. Not only the fourth quarter, but the whole game, you know. But, but at the end of the day, when you look at everything that we did, right, Steph Curry came out and scored 21 For points sure. in the first quarter, was held to 13 points in the next three. Mm. The Celtics defense went up. The the. Uh, the Golden State Warriors were scoring more points and they had a higher shooting percentage, three-point percentage in the first half. Sure. And then you looked at what we did. Look at our – we finished with 50 percent, 50 percent. We scored. We got stops. Mm -hmm. We took care of the basketball. Even with Jason Tatum not playing well, we were still able to get over the hump and still play the way we did. Guys stepped up and, man, all you could do is just – I mean, I feel so good. Yeah. I mean, and, I feel so and, good. In the fourth quarter – you, were, you would expect, think about it, the Warriors kind of controlled the game in the third. In the fourth quarter, you would expect the Warriors at home, yep. you know, finals experience, experience all yes. that stuff. That was not the case. And by the way, give Jalen Brown a ton of credit. When Jason Tatum went to the bench to get his little rest, mm -hmm. Jalen Brown came in there was aggressive. And I and give Jason Tatum credit because they kept going to Jalen Brown and he kept making plays in that fourth quarter. Getting downhill, drawing, moving. Your, your hand down, lets it fly, knocks down a three. So huge, huge spurt for Jalen Brown. You, you Just really quickly, you mentioned that fourth quarter. The Celtics went on a 40-15 to 15 run in that fourth quarter. Let's take a look at those highlights. It's presented by Shaw's Perfecting the Art of Fresh. And, Eddie, I'll give you a chance to kind of talk about this fourth quarter right here and just how the Celtics were able to just expand that lead and run away with this game. Well, it was defense. And, again, Scout, we were talking about who's going to make runs, right? You you outlined that earlier. You said we can't allow them to go on these type of runs that the Milwaukee Bucks did, that the Miami Heat did against us. Well, we actually did it against them. And we were talking to the Warriors people earlier, you know, D. Wright, Chris yeah. Marlin, and Festus right and what did they say they turn the ball over too sure and when they do turn the ball over and when you do have a team that gets stops against them other teams make runs we just happen to be really talented so when we do make them runs it's going to be hard for them to counter that because we have so much talent we're so aggressive on the offensive end and the defensive end and we have so many guys that can score but look at jason tatum with 13 assists i mean that's the that, those are the things that i think superstars do right sure. find a way to affect the game if you're not scoring what else can you give us and having 13 assists 
that's not only saying, you know, okay, I know everybody's loaded up against me and they're mm -hmm. trying to take me out of the game. I'll make the right play, even though I'm going to attack like, and I don't have it going. I'm going to try, but I still make the right play. And it's hard for players to do that. Sure. That are great players. Because you're in the big, you're in the biggest stage. And you want to, like, all right, everyone, every, it's all about me. I'm the superstar. Not for Jason Tatum. He's done it throughout the playoffs. Hey, in game seven against Milwaukee, after scoring 46 in game six, he backs it up and makes sure that he's moving that thing. And today, you could tell the Warriors were keying in on him, and all Jason Tatum would make the right plays. But it took big guts for guys to step up and make shots, and that's what they did, especially in that fourth quarter. Yeah, it was a team effort by the Celtics team. And you talked about Derek White earlier coming off the bench. Well, Peyton Pritchard got some big minutes in this game as well. He's with Abby Chin right now. Hey, 40 to 13 in the fourth quarter. What changed? You know, I just think uh, we started pressuring them, forcing them into tough shots, and then uh, we kind of spread the court out, uh, you know, put shooters on the floor and just, you know, drive and attack, got easy ones, and turn the game around. After that third quarter, what was said in the huddle? How were you able to maintain your composure? I mean, you know, it's the Warriors. They're going to go on runs, and uh, we knew we were going to make our runs, so uh, we just had to stay composed and, and do it. What did going small do for you guys? I think it just put more pressure on the ball. I mean, uh, we're switching a lot out there. You know, they're obviously a great three-point shooting team, so it allows us to stay contact on their shooters and then uh, obviously space the floor on offensively. Aaron said it. It is just one game. Mm -hmm. But what did you guys learn about yourselves, and, and how? what was it like being out there on that stage? We're going to have to be resilient against them. They're going like, to make runs. Yeah, it, is, it is only one game, so we've got three more to go. Congratulations. Thank you. Good job. Thanks, babe. Thank you. A look at that final score from the Chase Center, 120 to 108. The Celtics take game one of the NBA Finals.